In this video, I will be showing you how to clean a chimney. Now, if you are having a auto clean chimney, then first you need to make sure you are uh, turning on auto clean so that it is going to heat the internal unit and uh, any oil residue is going to get collected in this tray. Okay, so that's the first step. Now, let me just quickly turn on auto clean. So you could see that okay, the timer has started now. So it is going to uh, heat the internal unit for around 10 minutes and after that uh, with the heat whatever oil residue is going to be there it is going to get collected in this okay. So after 10 minutes it is going to stop automatically and once it stops allow it to cool inside for some time and then we are going to open that and uh, show you how to clean it. So now the auto clean process has been completed. So let's leave it for a couple of minutes and then I'm going to show you how to clean this. So now uh, let's open this. So uh, you might be having uh, any chimney. Uh, one thing to understand is either it might be having a mesh or a baffle filter like this. If you are having a baffle filter, you just need to rotate this and remove it. Okay. So I'll show you again. So you just have to rotate it and remove it. Now, even if you are having a mesh, it would be the same process to remove it. Okay. So now let's see how to clean this. Let me also show you how to remove this oil collector. You just have to push it out on both the side. Okay. Now let's see if there is any oil collected here. So there is no oil residue here because we don't do too much of deep frying. Okay. So. So let me show you how exactly it is looking uh, inside right now. Okay, so you could see uh, there are a bit of oil stains here, right? Again, you can see he here oil stains. So all this uh, section we need to clean it. Okay, so see there is a bit of oil on this as well, right? So let's clean all this. And first, let me show you how the baffle filter is looking. So uh, this is the baffle filter, right? So you could see there is a lot of uh, oil uh, residue in this. So we have to clean this with uh, hot water. So I'm going to you tell you the complete process for this. So first we are going to clean this with the help of uh, lemon and uh, baking soda so that it removes all the oil stains. Now after that we are going to put hot water and clean it. And finally uh, we can uh, wash it with the help of uh, uh, any a utensil cleaning liquid either it could be Vim or whatever you are going to use it okay so let's start so leave this for around uh, two to three minutes So you could see that already the oil stains are coming out. So this process is uh, required to be done only once in 2-3 uh, months. You always don't need to do this. Uh, but every month make sure you are going to uh, do the normal cleaning with the help of hot water. So you could see if you are using a very thin scratch, you can just move it internally and clean it uh, uh, very neatly. Now do the final cleaning with the help of uh, Wim dishwasher what we are using. So 
so now you could see you have a sparkling baffle filter which is completely clean so you could see that's how clean this looks after cleaning and this is how it looked before cleaning right so follow the same process for cleaning this one and also cleaning this one So this is how we can uh, clean inside with the help of uh, a dish cleaning liquid. Now wipe it with the help of a uh, wet cloth so just be careful if there are any sharp edges inside now let's clean this uh, internal part with the help of uh, colin Clean the outer part with the help of Colin. So now you could see how clean it looks. Right? So that's how it has been cleaned. Now let's connect this. Thanks for watching. If you are not already subscribed to the channel, then please do subscribe. Click on that bell notification and select all notification so that you don't miss any videos from this channel. See you in the next video.